7 16 a.m and i don't know what my day is going to be like today i thought we were going to do the yard sale we live in a duplex and the people downstairs they have cars and they usually always park on the street they never park in the driveway we usually always dominate the driveway all right so one of the roommates downstairs they're going out of town for like a couple days for on a weekend trip and he like parked in the driveway and I totally didn't say anything because I know that we always dominate the parking spots so I see his car parked there I didn't say anything I'm like it's totally cool he says we're going out of town for a couple days I'm gonna leave the car here for a couple days and I didn't even think nothing of it I was like totally fine you know we go out of town and leave the cars there all the time too or we just stay in town and leave the cars there and don't move them so he's like you know a couple days he wants to leave the car there and I didn't think nothing of it I totally forgot that we're having a yard sale meaning that there's an extra car parked in the driveway so my girlfriend is really pissed off about that so now she didn't want to do the yard sale at all and I'm thinking, all right, I guess I'll do something else for today. Because I was really planning on having a yard sale. Starbucks coffee time. Almost done. I'm going to get a refill and then probably go back to the house. Still don't know what I'm going to do today. Maybe caviar, test rabbit, Postmates. Back at my house now, my girlfriend's totally upset that I, I guess it's my fault that I, like, screwed up the whole yard sale deal so anyway my girlfriend my roommate one of her friends from new york and another one of her friends from oakland they all went out to breakfast together and totally did not invite me but i'm not tripping because honestly it wasn't a vegan restaurant and none of them are vegan and i would just have to hang out with them there watching them like chow down on chicken when i really want something totally different and then the breakfast place that they want to go to and on top of that you have to wait like i don't know maybe like 20 30 minutes before you can get a table i would just rather have some oatmeal at the house and it's also the weekend let me catch you guys up where did i leave off well since then i've came home taking a nap was waking up with my girlfriend she's having a party later today so they her and a bunch of friends like came over and cut the music up really loud and now, like, I'm literally walking around the house with my, like, Dr. Dre headphone beats on, like, really, really loud. Because when I'm in a place and, they're, and it's really loud and someone has, like, really loud music on, I, like, I can't focus. Like, I just can't think. Okay, if you tell me to do something, like, I just get distracted. I can't think. So what I have to do is two things. I have to get out of that environment or I have to, like, play music really, really loud so I can't hear that music. This way I could accomplish what I'm trying to do. But usually when I do that, when I like play really loud music to try to get a test done, still can't do it like I could if I could actually focus. Because now I'm just playing really, really loud music so I won't hear this other person's music and it still takes me a really long time to focus. So what I'm about to do now is get ready to leave the house because it is 3.13 and it's starting to heat up. Like around three o'clock is when my house gets hot and it's heating up right now and I think I'm just gonna get ready to go to the city. Uber is offering forty dollars an hour I believe from five from five PM to eleven PM and also offering forty five dollars an hour from eleven PM to I believe two or three. So I'm gonna get ready to go out, work, see how today goes, make some money. I think I need to do forty rides today and tomorrow for the eighty ride bonus. Still got plenty of time to knock it out. Cross my fingers, I can do a bunch of pool rides tonight and not a whole bunch of really, really long South Bay rides. Right now it's 5.58. I'm on the way to the city and traffic is, you know, moving a little bit slower than usual on the bridge, on the old bridge right now, headed into the city. Don't know if I'll complete 20 rides. Just have to see. I've actually worked from 6 p.m to like 3 a.m. and done 30 rides before so it's totally possible it really depends if i stay in the city and do uber pools the majority of the time or if i you know have a bunch of long trips that take me far out we'll see 
almost six o'clock. I'm about to go online soon. Now it's six forty nine. No request on Uber. I received one request. It was an Uber X request. The person canceled immediately, so I don't know, I missed out on that one. So since Uber's so dead, I have caviar on now. And the problem with caviar, I'm getting a lot of requests coming in, and they're all decent price. But none of them are close. They're all halfway across town. For the least. Left the Uber app on for about I don't know, 40 minutes, got one request, that request canceled. I got caviar on, left caviar on for quite some time. A bunch of requests came through, but they're all really far away, so I didn't accept any of them. Now I just accepted a caviar order. This is a $17 order, and this is not that far away. I'm going to pick it up. Sorry I was supposed to do Uber tonight, but Uber is... It's dead and I need to make some money. So I'm gonna cut caviar on right now. On my way to drop off the food delivery now. I got a little drive, so it's gonna take it easy. Maybe I'll listen to a YouTube video or something online. This traffic is so ratchet right now. 7.53, just accepted another caviar order. And I'm on the way to drop off the first caviar order. So it looks like I'm gonna call this vlog caviar something. The two main differences between Uber Rush and caviar is, I don't know, caviar is a lot busier I feel. I feel that a lot of times with Uber Rush, you're sitting around and you're waiting on requests. Or when you're driving Uber X, you're sitting around waiting on requests. I'm in the Mission District, and at night in the Mission District, you just have to park hella dirty. There's like three cars right now in the bus lane, including myself. So I'm gonna get out of here, pick this order up real fast. Let's do this. Caviar order 31, no. Oh, no, I didn't get it. We're super backed up on caviar, so it might be a little bit more time. Okay. They're backed up, and I should wait for a confirmation text. And I get maybe I haven't did caviar in a while, but I didn't know on caviar they send confirmation texts now. And I also have to make sure that there's no bus that appears because if there is, I can get a ticket for like $300 for parking in a bus stop. That last caviar food order took. A really long time to complete. I waited outside the restaurant, well, in the neighborhood of the restaurant, for about an hour. The receptionist told me, you know, you should have received a text message. I didn't get a text message until a whole lot later. I finally got a text message, and I was kind of tripping out once I got the message because it was so long after the request was, like, put in. So I was thinking, man... This is going to take a long time, and I'm only getting like 10 bucks, and it took like an hour and a half. So I'm pretty bummed out. I want to cut the Uber app on, but I just got off the Facebook groups, and people are saying that it's dead. There's even people out there that's saying that they don't know if they're going to make the two-ride minimum for tonight, because they've been out since 6, and they haven't received two rides per hour on average. And the later it gets two things could happen. It could pick up or it could just continue to die down. And what I'm thinking is going to happen, I'm thinking it could die down just because it's the 30th today. The first of the month is tomorrow and I kind of feel that every now and then that could be a big deal. Like people don't spend money towards the end of the month the first week of the month people are like spending money like crazy I found out this information from looking back at my old notes and figuring out hey the second week and the third week are much better than the last week next week I'm thinking about returning the rental car doing food deliveries back on bike and on scoot and on the weekends just renting a car through enterprise car share program which is $50 a day, that includes gasoline. 
And just on the weekends, if I don't want to ride a bike because it's really busy or I need to carry stuff with Test Rabbit, just rent a car. $50 on Saturday or $50 on Sunday. $50 on Sunday would not be bad because Sunday is pretty dang busy. You would really get your money's worth on Sunday. Right now, on average, I'm paying about $35 a day for the rental. Well, gas is maybe another 10 or 15 bucks. So roughly, I'm paying 50 bucks a day already. The only difference with the Enterprise car share program is I could just rent the car for one day if I wanted to. I don't have to keep it for a whole week. I mean, think about it. If there's like a huge rainstorm that's coming on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, I could just rent the car then and just drive when it's like crazy raining. And then when the rain goes away, turn the car back in and I can just go back to my bike. I mean, the cool thing about riding a bike in the city is you never have to look for parking. You never have to sit in traffic. I'm just so over sitting in traffic. I'm so over like just sitting in the car and my posture is all wrong and I'm sitting like this like all sideways and I'm all like crunched down and my back hurts and I'm just like ugh, I just need to get out of here. So I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. I may keep the car, I may still do the Uber next week, but I'm really thinking about trying something new or just trying something different next week. On another caviar order right now. I totally did not mean to accept this order. It happened on mistake. So I'm gonna complete it anyway. It's kind of far away. It's going in the opposite direction of downtown. Right now it's 10.15. What I'm gonna do is cut the Uber app on and see how long it takes me to get a request. If I don't get a request in less than 15 minutes, the bridge is right there. I'm just gonna drive on the bridge, go back to Oakland. The main reason I'm pretty much giving, on, giving up on Uber tonight is I just don't think it's possible to complete 80 rides before 4 a.m. on Monday. Now, technically it is possible, but thinking, I mean, it's the end of the month. I don't really trust it, that's my thing. I don't really trust it. I don't want to work like 10 hours tonight and complete 18 rides because four of those 18 rides were really far away. I also don't want to just spend that much time today and tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to have to put just as much time in as I put in today. But I've been here for like 10 minutes, no requests on Uber, and in another 4 minutes I'm probably going to jump on the freeway. Looks like tomorrow will be a Task Rabbit day. I've already accepted one job on Task Rabbit. Really simple job. Pick up something from a restaurant, deliver it really close for like 23 bucks. Think I'm gonna start my day off with that one tomorrow. See how it goes from there.